and welcome to another special video review and today we've got something special so this is going to be more of an informative uh, video than a review because uh, well let's take it back <laughs> first step so uh transformer has done a lot of uh crossovers uh throughout the years and we've had like a, a great jurassic park we've had like the gi joes we have amazing ones uh, but back to the future for example but one crossover that is less talked maybe because it's totally is not popular here in america in canada because i'm canadian but you know you know <laughs> overseas is about the crossover that transformer did uh, with a, a, vari a variety show from japan called the gaki no tsukai ya arande <sighs> what the hell is this so um uh, the Gaki Natsukai uh, is a TV show of variety, like kind of like a, a bit of uh, Saturday, Saturday Night Live mixed in with uh, late night TV shows, kind of like oh, Conan O'Brien. So it's both like a talk show with a comedy stuff, and it's been going on since uh, 1989, if I think, if I remember correctly. So that thing is old, and they, they recently. Well, uh, the, the sh TV show was quite popular. It was hosted by two uh, comedians uh, called the Downtown Duo, which consists of Matsumoto and Hamada, uh, two uh, Japanese comedians. And uh, for long, as long as I can remember, every single year around Christmas, they made a special called the Gaki no Tsukai, uh, no laughing, uh, la the No Laughing Games. So basically, it was just a bunch of really <laughs> kind of stupid games where if you laugh at something during a uh, time amount, uh, you'd get punished. But like, really punished. Uh, the first seasons were horrible, like real physical pain, uh, bleeding pain. And throughout the years, it, it, it got to, to a point where it's just like comedic uh, spanking of the butt. But like 90% uh, of the Japanese funny pranks gag that you see on YouTube, there's a high chance like 90% probably comes from the Gaki no Tsukai downtown TV show. They were notorious for doing gags and funny stuff, funny sketches and stuff. It was amazing. And I used to watch every single one of them back to back at work when I, when I use, that's a confidence but at work uh, i'm not gonna say where i work but i used to um, have meetings or i organized meetings with some friends and we had a meeting room but instead of you know, doing work stuff we were watching gaki no tsukai instead at meeting rooms it was some of the best time of my life <laughs> but yeah the tv shows are super funny and every year they had like a new theme of no laughing punishment game there was one year they uh they all went to a like a uh, elementary school and they were like uh the whole game was like if you laugh you get punished so they were like in the elementary school for example and uh, the students were doing like stupid stuff to make them laugh and if they laugh well they got punished that was the whole concept and every year they had a new theme uh going uh, like uh i don't know like um uh, one of the year was like halloween so they 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 were like in a haunted house uh, the other year was uh, for example, I don't know, like a detective policeman. So they they were in the police station and they were like funny police academy kind of gag uh, happening. And if they laughed, they got punished every time. So that was the whole concept of the, the, the show. And one year they did a uh, science laboratory uh, theme. And that's where they had the crossover with Transformers. So this is, this is the name, like the G uh, GKSL means a Gasu Kubriukai Science Laboratory. So that was the year of the Geki no Tsugai Science Lab. So they had a, for some reason, I don't know why, but they had a crossover with Transformer. So as you can see, this is the Fort Max head with Headmasters to uh, the different color scheme uh, to, that transform into like the Fort head, the Fortress Max head. Now that doesn't make really quite a lot of sense, but we'll come back to this. So we have like headmasters right here, and they they are basically just normal headmasters as 
they come, you know. But when they transform, they transform into the two hosts of the TV show. So these are like caricatures of their faces. So we have Matsumoto and Hamada. So there you go, you have like these two. These are actually caricatures that they used a lot in the TV show about them. So that's pretty cool. The, the, the Gaki no Tsukai used to have like five people doing all the stunts of the No Laughing games. It was uh, Matsumoto, uh, Hamada, Hendo, Jose, and Tanaka. Uh, Hendo and Jose are another duo comedy group, kind of like uh, uh, Matsumoto and uh, Hamada. And Tanaka was a fifth a comedian that joined them. And they all, all throughout the years, they used to do those. But uh, yeah. So we have like right here the caricature faces of Matsumoto and Hamada. Like I said, these came back a lot and they use a lot of the caricature to try and make them laugh throughout the seasons. And uh, they use the same to make the headmaster for the fourth rest max. So there you go. And yes, you have sound. So the sound that you just heard was uh, again for the TV, sh TV show. I just ripped an ear off. But in the TV show, when they got uh, punish, for example, if Matsumoto was laughing Okay, now it did transform, but if Matsumoto was laughing, you have that sound Matsumoto, Hamada, Hauto. That means that Matsumoto and Hamada laughed during the round, so they are out, so they get punished So that was hilarious TV They are easy to find on the internet all the season, and I mean all the season from like the 90s to uh, recently. I think it was in, uh, uh, they stopped in 21, I think, 21, 22. They stopped doing the Gaki no Tsukai because they were getting old. Matsumoto was really old in the end. He could barely walk. He's a no man now. But watching old seasons where they are younger, he's in his prime, he's muscular and everything. That is just funny. So, <laughs> so yeah, you had like the headmasters with uh, Matsumoto and Hamada's head. So, and you have the sound. Team Auto. That means the whole team laughed and they get all punished. So that, that was funny. We have a couple of other uh, sounds. Amada Auto. Matsumoto Auto. Transforme de. And that's for the transformation. And yeah, that's it. That's just the Gaki no Tsukai uh, Transformer uh, like crossover. <laughs> it just makes no sense that he had this going on. But it's great that he did because it's super niche and of course it's like not really known here outside in the West. Can I... Can you stand up? So yeah, this is like super rare. Of course mine is not new. I got this used, so it's really rare, like I said, to find one in the wild, and I did, but it's used, but the battery and everything works, it's a little bit yellowed out, but you know, it's white toy and Transformers, Hasbro as, you know, is notorious for using what's the yellow out, but he's not that bad, you know, so, yeah. Transformation is exactly as you'd think for, uh, it's just the same as the Fortress Max, so it basically nothing changes, so you just bring this. Bring this down, tab this on the side, bring this up, bring this up, flip this here, tab this on the side, and then you just flip this over, and then you flip the ears, and voila, you have the headmaster. Now what, whoop, like I said, my ears are a little bit loose, but it's not that bad. But yeah, then we have this face. Who the hell is this? Well, <laughs> again, referencing the uh, Gaki no Tsukai TV show, uh, they had a, the they they had a, uh, they poked a lot of fun to their uh, managers and the manager is his face so a lot uh, in a lot well every seasons they had like a totem of their manager which is this face uh, I think he was called uh, what was his name again 
Hiroshi Furi Fujiwara. Yeah. <laughs> Hiroshi Fujiwara. And yeah, they were making they, they were they poked fun at him, making a totem, saying that he was like a, an all merciful god and he was the one that grants them like uh, the the that permitted them to have the Gaki no Tsukai game and he rented like uh, for example the police station or the school or the science lab for them to do their crazy stuff so they all uh, they all had to praise him at some point in the TV show so it, it was just a comedic um, what do you say like a comedic uh, gag that always came back so a running gag. So it was pretty funny. It was always that kind of face. And it was the exact same face in the science time. I'm going to try and find the original screenshot so you can see on the video. But yeah, that was just funny. <laughs> so yeah, that that's pretty much it. It's a really awesome TV show. If yeah, Like I said, the episodes are easy to find on the internet. You can just search Gaki no Tsukai. And you'll be leading, you'll be led to a rabbit hole of funniest videos you can ever imagine of Japanese pranks, gags, and just downright crazy stuff. It gets really crazy. So, <laughs> I, I warn you, <laughs> some of the stuff they did, we were not prepared. But we all laughed so hard so long i have so much fond memories of this tv show and all the stuff so yeah and uh, just if uh, we play the, some sound we have some lighter light up features so you have like you know the eyes flashing so that's pretty cool so yeah that's pretty much it the uh, that's the uh gasu uh, kiro kiro bikari science uh, laboratory so this is the season of the science from the Geki no Tsukai no uh, Ya Arande, uh, which aired, I think, in 2016, 18. So, yeah, they had this, <laughs> this a crossover that makes no sense, but still pretty cool. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. So, hi. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you next time.